What's up guys, Ernest here. From 760 games released on the PS4 this year, 155 of them received their play scores. And from that, we're gonna give you the top 10 best PlayStation games of 2018, arranged by play score. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. And opening our list is Celeste. Winning the 2018 Game Awards for Best Independent Game and Games for Impact, Celeste deserves a spot in the PlayStation 4's competitive rankings. Amid today's obsession for vast, explorable open worlds, Matt Thorson and Noel Berry's indie game is a 2D platformer that manages to overcome the limitations of form. From the creators of Skytorn and Towerfall Ascension, their expertise are on full exhibit with their level designs that mix up basic jump, dash, and climb in ways that open players up to broad platforming possibility. Still built up on the same masochistic formula of try, die, and repeat, its warm hug of a storyline is enough to balance it all out. Following the character Madeline in her journey up the eponymous mountain, Celeste's narrative expresses veritably human struggles in a dreamlike atmosphere is one that resonates with today's crop, teaching lessons on mental health and the upward struggle of overcoming it. Frustration with a charming purpose, it has a play score of 8.93. It's all of Mice and Men at number 9 with Moss. Released in February 2018, this adventure game from Polyarch will let you experience a storybook fantasy firsthand. Not exactly a graphical marvel, it's one of the few VR titles that maximize the platform's potential while offering a complete narrative experience. Using the powers of VR, Moss tells a short and sweet tale seen through the eyes of the little man or Rodin. Play as guide to the game's small yet noble mouse, Quill, as she goes on a quest for greatness in a world decidedly larger than her own. Targeted towards children, its gameplay combination of puzzles and platforming isn't exactly much of a challenge. It clocks in at around 3 or so hours of gameplay, but every second is rife with its endearing visuals, intuitive controls, and inventive mechanics. Making subtle use of the VR's functions, it boded well for the future of the PSVR and the platform itself. It has a play score of 8.93. Giving us a Kamehame wave at number 8 is Dragon Ball Fighters. One of the most hyped up fighting games last year, this Dragon Ball inspired fighting game came to us in the early days of 2018, and it looks like the excitement hasn't died down just yet. Along with Arc System Works, a company known for the cult fighting sensation Guilty Gear, Bandai Namco gives free reign to sprinkle their signature cinematics and animations to their world of high flying combat. It's definitely not the first Dragon Ball game, and compared to others that have come before it, Fighter's roster of 24 characters isn't exactly impressive. On the other hand, Arc System Works brings the four to the spirit of the series in its explosive visuals and callbacks to the anime. Not one to skimp on gameplay, this title also strikes that balance between accessibility and strategic depth that unites fighting rookies and veterans alike. Maintaining quality with recent balance patches and adding 8 more characters in DLCs, the game's only getting better and better and it receives a play score of 8.94. Coming straight out of the playroom and into the number 7 spot is Astrobot Rescue Mission. Coming to the shelves at the tail end of 2018, Japan Studio's adorable Eve-like blue robot has become this year's PSVR poster boy. Seemingly coming out from the nowhere, the VR platformer manages to steal the show entirely, even so far as winning this year's best VR game. It's not that it's groundbreaking or entirely new, no, Astrobot defies expectations because it attempts to perfect the platforming experience on the VR in the most genuine way possible. Its only goal is to delight, and it does so with its vibrant environments and each with peripheral surprise. Reminding us of the pure joy of virtual reality and of being completely enveloped in a digital world, Astrobot is tactile, intuitive, and inventive, making good use of proximity and the Dual Shock 4. It almost makes platforming and the platform itself entirely new. Though a short experience as most VR games go, it's undoubtedly an essential one, and it has a play score of 9.04. Slamming their weapons down at number 6 is Monster Hunter World, a franchise that built its name on action role-playing gameplay that revolves around taming and battling humongous creatures. This first entry into a new generation takes all that and expands it to fit the larger scale of today's powerful consoles. With a sprawling size and scope equaling the behemoths that it's known for, Monster Hunter World's graphical upgrade not only makes for immersive exploration, it also does justice to the ferocity of their diverse bestiary. Other than the obvious makeover, MH World isn't much of a deviation from Capcom's long-established formula. And that's not a bad thing. Instead, it homes in on the addictive thrills of their signature combat and refines the little details of the overall hunting experience. 
Though aimed towards casting a broad net of players, it synthesizes well with the game's revamped multiplayer. An audacious entry into the new generation, it has a play score of 9.13. What's your favorite PlayStation 4 game this year? Tell us all about them in the comment section. Also, you can get these awesome titles by using the links provided in our description box. And if you want more of What to Play, check out our gameplay channel, What to Play Live, where we play the latest and greatest games out there. You can use the link right here in the top right corner. Rolling the dice at number 5 is Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. As if the second installment to their breakthrough hit wasn't good enough, Larian Studios guilds refined gold with this definitive edition of their exceptional RPG. Released on the PS4 just last August, Divinity sequel has been described as one of the richest role-playing games on the market. It earned universal acclaim for bringing the creativity of pen and paper adventuring into the digital form. With its breadth of customizations, interactive environments, and fully fleshed out storylines, Original Sin 2's wealth of options makes for a complete role-playing experience no matter how many times you play. And with a definitive edition adding a fresh perspective on both multiplayer and single player, it only served to bolster the sequel's success. While the console controls weren't perfect, its minor quibbles just weren't enough to dampen the sparkle of Larian's polished gem. It has a play score of 9.16. Let's get big and emotional at number 4 with Shadow the Colossus. A true PlayStation classic, Team Ico's mastercrafted action-adventure game gets a PlayStation 4 makeover. SIA Japan Studios and Bluepoint Games take the helm to recreate the beautiful and emotional video game for everyone to play. For starters, the visual enhancements, textures, and the smooth 60 frames per second make it an exhilarating journey. Ride along its desolate world with your trusty steed and slay down towering colossi in epic third-person action, all for the power of love. Its downside, however, is that it's a remaster. It's basically the same game but with a completely fresh visual polish. The bosses don't offer much challenge since all you do is climb and not fall down. The lack of new content makes it less of a remaster, but it's still a fantastic adventure nonetheless due to its wonderful story of romance and hope. It receives a play score of 9.17. Swinging in at number 3 is Marvel Spider-Man. Insomniac's record-breaking new IP no longer takes you to the shoes of Ratchet and Clank. This time, Marvel's web-slinging superhero takes center stage. Inspired by Rocksteady's superhero formula, Marvel's Spider-Man takes you to a bustling open-world city of New York dominated by high crime rates, supervillains, and collectibles. Since you're Spider-Man, web-slinging is so much fun this time around. It's easily the best thing about this game. Players swing around buildings, crawl on skyscrapers, bury thieves with your webs, and fight thugs as you upgrade your suit for that massive gameplay advantage. Its huge and detailed open world makes every web slinging worthwhile, especially taking down the big baddies from Peter Parker's rogues gallery. Although it's a huge game, its simple execution of open world tropes make it similar to most other open world games. It brings nothing new to the superhero genre table, but you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It has a play score of 9.18. Bringing down the big axe at number 2 is God of War. Winning this year's Game of the Year at the Game Awards follow Kratos and boy! as they embark on a life-changing journey about fatherhood, responsibilities, and world-ending prophecies. Considered as a soft reboot of the franchise, Kratos no longer serves the Greek gods. This time, the Norse realm awaits his presence. Travel to the frosty realm of Midgard or through the peaceful yet corrupted Alfheim alongside your son and take down mythical creatures with your magical axe. For the first time in the series, it incorporates a more mature take on everyone's god-slaying protagonist, and its new camera angle seamlessly puts players in a completely epic hack-and-slash experience. Its short game time, however, leaves players wanting for more. One thing's for sure about this game. Thor and Odin aren't happy with this father and son duo. It receives a play score of 9.49. And here are the runners-up before we reveal the number one. Tetris Effect. Enhanced game's twist on the classic brick game. A vision trip with ethereal and futuristic visuals, it's a casual, friendly Tetris experience that anyone can enjoy. It has a play score of 8.86. Dragon Quest XI – Echoes of an Elusive Age A refreshing new look on Yuji Horii's Dragon Quest universe. This 11th installment brings high definition to the RPG gameplay. An old-school adventure wrapped in the liberating details of the new age, it has a play score of 8.86. Hollow Knight – Void Heart Edition Packed with all the DLCs, it's the complete Hollow Knight experience. Follow the little bug boy on his quest to save Hollow Nest from Doom. It has a play score of 8.79. Dark Souls Remastered. 
a completely remastered Dark Souls experience. Praise the sun once more with a new visual overhaul, gameplay balance, and another round of hardcore action adventure. It has a play score of 8.74. Yakuza Kiwami 2 A ground-up remake of the 2006 Yakuza 2 developed using the latest Dragon Game engine. Adding new features, bonus content, and a whole new story to the sprawling open world of Japanese escapades, it has a play score of 8.74. DJ Max Respect A reboot of NeoWiz's iconic rhythm game, it marks the latest in their groovy series. Offering various tracks from their collection, try your hand at over 6 different modes and take in the freshness of their HD look. It has a play score of 8.71. Dragon's Crown Pro a story of swords and sorcery from Vanillaware. Its remastered visuals and added content take the award-winning strategy experience to greater heights. Praised for its RPG mechanics and challenging dungeon crawling, it has a play score of 8.69. Yakuza 6 Song of Life The seventh main entry of the Yakuza series returned to the life of Kazuma Kiryu as he saves his family's life from a mysterious threat. It has a play score of 8.67. Dead Cells Live and die and live again in this hardcore roguelike platformer from Motion Twin. Brave through infested dungeons and try not to die so you can make it to the end. It has a play score of 8.66. Valkyria Chronicles 4 War meets anime in this tactical role-playing game from Sega. Save your kingdom from a grueling civil war one move at a time. It has a play score of 8.65. And the best PS4 game of 2018 is Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar's Western open-world action game may not have taken home the Game of the Year award, but it's certainly one of the most ambitious video game achievements this year. A prequel to the original Red Dead Redemption, players assume the role of outlaw Arthur Morgan as he tries his best to save the Western frontier against the growing government forces. As a member of the Van Der Linde gang, assert your dominance by either performing shootouts, heists, horseback riding, or just interacting with various NPCs in its huge open world. A true upgrade compared to its predecessors, experience Rockstar's most detailed game yet. Ride around the western sunset with your trusty steed, start bar fights, or just talk to the folk around town with branching dialogue options. However, its only gripe is its pacing issues. Rockstar isn't really known to end their games in a good note, but nonetheless, this minor setback is nothing compared to the game's sheer amount of awe. There's so much to do in this game and it gives us so much hope to Rockstar's upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6. It receives a play score of 9.52. And those were the top 10 PS4 games of 2018. And if you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified What the Player. And that's about it. See you next time.